Good morning, fellow believers. Today we want to, I want to cover three things concerning prayer, three aspects or three points. The first point is concerning uh, our seeing of Christ's ascension. Here in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 20, that he worked in Christ. I'm reading from the English Standard Version, but anyway, it's different versions here. So it's a second to the, from the left, second column from the left that he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seating him, seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only on in this age, but also in the one to come. So the first aspect of our praying effective prayers is to see that Christ has been ascended to the highest to the highest place he has been raised from the dead that's resurrection power and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly place that's transcending power or ascending power so first we have to see that Christ is uh, in ascension and the second is that and he said, and he put all things under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills on all. And coupled with Ephesians chapter 2, let's go to Ephesians chapter 2. But God. Verse 4, but God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Jesus Christ. So first, to, to pray effective prayers, to pray prayers that is acceptable to God the Father, we have to first see Christ's ascend, ascension. He's at the right hand of the Father. He's in the heavens. He's ascended. So we see him in his ascension, even his enthronement. Second, we need to see our position as the church. We are seated with Christ in the heavenlies, in the heavenly places, in Christ Jesus, the heavenly realm, and seated us in the heavens. So where the head is, Christ is the head of the body, he is at the right hand of the Father. <clears throat> and uh, we are the body of Christ to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all in all. So where the head is, the body is. So we are seated at the right hand of the Father as well. So first, we need to see Christ's ascension. Second, we need to see our position in Christ as members of the body. And third, we need to see that the Lord has given us all authority. This is Matthew 28. All right, let's go to Matthew 28. Matthew 28. Verse 18. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them 
into the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So the third aspect, first is that we need to see Christ's ascension. Second, we need to see that we are in ascension with Christ as members of the body. Where the head is, the body is also. We are also seated at the right hand of the Father. Third, we have been given all authority. Go, therefore, therefore we can go, and therefore we can pray. So, thank you, Lord. So here's how to pray. Thank you, Lord, that you have ascended. God has raised you from the dead and seat you at his right hand, far above all rule and authority and power and lordship, and given the name which is above every name, both in this age and in that which is to come. We thank you that we are seated with you in the heavenlies. We thank you that you have given all authority to us, all authority, amen, all power and authority has been given to us. Lord, we pray for all the Christians this morning, all would see your ascension, all would see their, the, the position of the body, and all would see the authority they have given to all the, of us Christians. Lord, we want to pray effective prayer. We want to have a walk that's worthy of our calling. And we want to put on the whole armor of God. We sit, walk, and stand. We sit and rest in your accomplishment, your obtainments, and your attainments. Lord, we're seated with you in the heavenlies. We walk by having a daily living that is in oneness with you. Our work is in you. We rest in you. We first enjoy you. And we put on the whole armor of God and we stand. Amen, fellow believers. May this word richly bless you. Out of Zion. Don't forget to smash the subscribe and like button. Leave a comment. We'll see you in the next video.